Before we go, when you live and work while traveling at a speed of five miles per second, time certainly must fly by. But will it fly fast enough for astronaut Scott Kelly, who was more than two months into his year-long stay on board the International Space Station? His mission is to provide a better understanding of the effects of prolonged space travel. I checked in with him today and began our chat by asking if he's counting down the days until his homecoming back on Earth. I uh, intentionally uh, did not uh, think about counting down. Someone suggested that I count up. So I've sort of been doing that. No stranger to long space missions mentally, Scott Kelly knew what to expect. But researchers think he will age more quickly than his twin brother, Mark, who remains on Earth. Are you concerned about the, the toll, the physical toll that this will take on you? I do think about the effects of, uh, you know, the microgravity environment on those kind of things, but also the effects of uh, radiation. You know, the reason I'm here is to learn more about it so someday we can travel further from low Earth orbit than we ever have before. Kelly is 75 days into a year-long mission. He's been frequently taking to Twitter and Instagram, posting stunning images of home. The space station passes over Earth every 90 minutes. The Earth is an amazing thing to look at. For me, it's somewhat of a challenge to figure out something I want to get a picture of and have the timing all work out and get a, a really good shot. You know, those pictures are taken from 250 miles away, and it's very entertaining, and I hope people that are looking at them are enjoying them. He's even posted a bunch of space selfies and keeps a close eye on the headlines, including this tweet from Saturday. Following American Pharaoh and Victor Espinoza from At Space Station, congrats on the Triple Crown. I put out a call on Facebook earlier for people to offer up questions that I might ask you. we got some interesting ones. I think I'll skip this one, asking if you wash your hair in space. Yeah, I actually have the perfect hair for space, which is none, because I see my colleagues washing it, and it looks quite the challenge. And what does he wish he'd brought along for the trip? You wouldn't think this would come from me, but I thought there were watercolors up here. They were here last time, but when I got up here, they weren't. So the ground is going to send a small little watercolor set on next SpaceX. This is a great environment for looking out the window and painting what you see. And we can't wait to see those pictures. NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here, and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.